And I'm joined now by Trump ally and former House Speaker Newt Gingrich, author of Understanding Trump. Good morning, Mr. Speaker. Good morning. I, I, I want to start with the Russia investigation. Of course, we saw the Washington Post headline and Attorney General Rod Rosenstein cautioning people on reports from anonymous officials. But then, as the president tweeted, I am being investigated for firing the FBI director by the man who told me to fire the FBI director witch hunt. We know people close to the president's legal team say he wasn't confirming any sort of investigation. And you just heard what Pierre said, that President Trump was just commenting on the Washington Post headlines. You're the man who wrote Understanding Trump. How do you understand that tweet? Trump has a compulsion to counterattack and uh, is very pugnacious. Uh, I don't think it serves him well. I don't think that tweet helped him. Uh, but it's almost like it's, it's who he's been his whole life. I mean, he's been a fighter his whole life. He is infuriated, and legitimately, in my judgment, by this whole Russian baloney. Uh, and notice how it's evolving. I mean, you start over here with Russia. Well, they don't have anything on Russia, but maybe, maybe there was obstruction. We may not get anything on obstruction, but maybe there's going to be perjury. And maybe there'll be, you know, I mean, you, you go down the list, and, you, and you, we've, we've been here before. We watched Comey appoint Patrick Fitzgerald, who was the godfather to Comey's children, and Fitzgerald knew there was no crime. Let, let, let's go. Let's go back to what you just said. This Russian baloney. It's Russian baloney. If, if people are involved <clears throat> in collusion with Russia, don't you want to know about that? There is. There is no evidence. I mean, first of all, if you want to investigate Russia, fine. How about Bill Clinton's half million dollar speech? How about uh, Podesta's brother, who's a registered agent for a Russian bank? How about the Iranian let, let's deal? Let's stick with this for no, now. No, no. I'm just saying. I'm happy to look at Russia's relationship. I actually think it would be healthy to have congressional hearings on foreign influence peddling in the U.S. way beyond the Russians. I think that's important for the future of our democracy. No one, and Comey himself said this in, in his last testimony, no one has suggested that Donald Trump had anything to do with colluding with the Russians. There's, there's not a bit of evidence that he did. Well, 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 certainly we don't know what any evidence is so far. We don't know what's going that. on. Feinstein, in, in... Senator Feinstein, the Democrat ranking member on intelligence, said there is no evidence of collusion. Uh, I, I, I want to go back to the tweet for a second. Do you think he was confirming an investigation? I have no idea what he thought he was doing. OK. You said this week that the president cannot obstruct justice, but you led the charge to impeach Bill Clinton. You voted for Article 3 of the House impeachment of Bill Clinton for obstruction of justice. What's the difference here? Clinton had committed perjury. He ultimately lost his license to practice law. Perjury is a felony. Uh, it's the same thing with Nixon. And the Nixon people were involved in a crime. The, Andy McCarthy, who is a former federal prosecutor, uh, who actually prosecuted the World Trade Center bombing in 93, McCarthy's made the point over and over again. If you don't have a crime, what is it you're investigating? We don't have any evidence that the Donald but, Trump but, but committed the president, any crime. The president said that he fired Comey because of the Russia investigation. If the special counsel finds that he impeded that investigation by firing but Comey, but how impede, is that not obstruction? He didn't impede the investigation. There's no evidence. First of all, the FBI itself has said they have all the money they've asked for. They've had no problems getting resources. I think he fired Comey because Comey's public behavior was so destructive. I mean, Comey... He said he fired Comey because of the Russian investigation. Right, because, because Comey would not say in public what he was saying to Clinton and I mean, to, to uh, Trump in private, which is, you're not being investigated. Trump just wanted people to understand, fine, there's a Russian investigation. It doesn't involve the president of the United States. Let, and let, Comey apparently said that to him on three occasions. Let, let's talk about Bob Mueller. You have done a complete 180. That's right. On Bob Mueller. You, you heard what Pierre just said about Bob Mueller. Highly respected man. In May, you said he was a superb choice for special counsel with an impeccable reputation for honesty. Less than a month later, you say he won't be fair. Well, because, frankly, I, I switch, and I, and I have no problem with Bob Mueller as a person, but I have every problem with how he's, what he's doing. I, frankly, began to switch the minute Comey in this remarkable public statement says, uh, I deliberately leaked to a college professor to leak to the New York Times for the purpose of getting a special counsel. Okay, now the special counsel happens to be a close friend of, of Comey, which is weird because under Justice Department rules, Mueller can't investigate Comey. But, but Mueller was okay. appointed by Rosenstein. I know. And yeah, Comey, he, he... Comey isn't under investigation. 
Comey may be under investigation. If you have an obstruction case, Comey's got to be one of the major witnesses. So then I look at who Mueller... So I'm now curious. So I then look at who Mueller's hired. One of the lawyers he brought in has such a record of hiding evidence from the defense. The Supreme Court ruled 9 to 0 that when that lawyer participated in destroying Arthur Anderson, 85,000 jobs, that it wasn't a crime. But he hid the evidence. He hid the evidence in Enron and four people who were innocent spent a year in jail. Now, you bring in headhunters like that, the first four people he brought in, one was a person who had defended the Clinton Foundation against Freedom of Information Act. You, you heard what Pierre said. You, you now have 13 in there. And federal law and department policy prohibit the use of political or ideological affiliations to assess applicants. This is effectively the way These they choose... These are applicants. Only. These are people he's recruiting. And so you think Bob Mueller is politicizing I, this investigation no, and, you, and you, that's why you, you don't tell, trust you him? You tell me why the first four names that came up, I don't know about the next nine, the first four names are all people who gave to Democrats. Two of them are people with a record of hiding evidence from the defense and one of them is a person who defended the Clinton Foundation. Now, in this environment with a Justice Department where 97% of the donations for last year went to Hillary, 97%. Explain to me why I should relax as a Republican. Well, okay. Former Republican Congressman Bob Inglis, who helped draft President Clinton's impeachment article, says the charges against Trump are more serious than lying under oath. He writes that former President Clinton was impeached for charges less serious than the ones before us now. In the current well, case, the Comey was exploring the possibility of American involvement in the Russian plot, a treasonous offense. What are the charges against Trump? Th there are no charges Comey has, against Comey Trump yet, but there times. are certainly talk about what they could investigate. Well, there, there's talk about what they could, but notice how, you, how the whole system, including you, moves the game. Okay? There are no charges against Trump. Comey has said three times there is no evidence of collusion with Trump. Senator Feinstein, the, the ranking Democrat... Okay, in the Comey, Comey is no longer there. No, we know but, he, that. but he has said, after six months of looking, there's no evidence that Trump's involved. Senator Feinstein has said they have not found any evidence that Trump is involved. So what are the charges against Trump? Let, let, let's talk about Rosenstein. You talked to the president. Why is he, or was he, in that tweet, publicly calling out his deputy attorney general? Has he lost confidence in him? I think he's furious. I think, I think Trump sits there and says, let me get this straight. I know I didn't do anything with the Russians. Comey has said three times I didn't do anything with the Russians. Nobody in Capitol Hill has any proof I did anything with the Russians. And now I get an independent counsel who is going to mess up at least the next year at a minimum, and who, by the way, you'll notice is expanding his charge. I mean, now they're talking about not the Russians. They're talking about obstruction. Now they're talking about going and looking at financial files, if you believe the leak. And I said yesterday, you get two more leaks like this, Rosenstein's going to have to appoint a special counsel to investigate the special counsel. Do you think Rosenstein should recuse himself? No. I mean, I think this whole game of recusal now is... is this is a nightmare. I, and, I, and I don't think people realize this. You have, you have this, this legalistic nightmare trying to block the Trump presidency on behalf of a department which, in which 97% of the money was given to Hillary, and you want me to believe this is all just random behavior. As a historian, I don't believe it. And, and so what do you think should happen here? If you've got allegations, if you've got people saying what things allegations? like this, if you've got allegations of collusion, you say there's no evidence, but we don't know that. Show the evidence. So should they just the stop evidence. it down? No, show the evidence. If they have any evidence that Donald Trump personally is involved, show it. But, but we're not talking just not about Donald Trump. What? We're, we're not just talking about but Donald Trump. Trump did nothing to slow down the investigation below Comey. No one has suggested he, he did anything to the, the regular FBI could go investigate to the heart's content. Trump said he wanted it done. Okay. He was angry at Comey. He wasn't angry at the investigation. We'll see how this all turns all out. Right. I'm sure it will be many months of going back and forth. Thanks very much Good for joining us this morning.